Hello, this is Chris Kobe with the League of Women Voters of Portland. You're watching the Video Voters Guide. In conjunction with Metro East Community Media, we are here to talk with candidates running in the May 2020 primary election. With me today is Walter Wesley, running for Portland City Commissioner, position two. Welcome, Walter, and please tell hey. us a little bit about yourself, why you're running for the city commissioner office, and what unique characteristics you have among the candidates for position two. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, Chris. Uh, yeah, I, I, I first decided to run, run because I heard about, uh, I was reading about Nick Fish and I was liking some of the things that he was doing. And then I heard he had cancer. And, um, and that, that kind of struck me kind of emotionally. And I, um, so I, after reading about what things he was doing, I, I thought I'd get into the, to the fray to do it. Uh, a lot for educational purposes, really, um, just to, to get more involved in, get more involved in, uh, you know the process as well too so that's why i ran okay Th thank you for running walter along with all the other candidates the pandemic and the resulting devastation of small businesses city employee layoffs and the housing displacement will be with us unfortunately for some time if uh, you were elected to the city commission how would you seek to address this fallout including the reduction in city revenue well it it's such a changing situation and it comes on so quick i don't i don't think anybody really knows what to do um we uh we definitely need more emergency uh situations to deal with any kind of emergencies and that's uh you know as far as what to do now with this i mean what kate brown is doing is awesome and the the, the isolation and hand washing and not touching your face seem to be some of the most important things you can do. Distancing is great, and we'll find out more about that as it unfolds. But I think right now the the I've heard doctors and ICU places say is to be very careful about your hands and your face, and that's why masks are so important. Um, the Japanese and Korean are a mask wearing culture, and they've they seem to have the the virus into some kind of you know control and um we need to be the same way um, we need to just all the time know where our hands are and not touch our face with our hands and be careful what we touch and plenty of hand washing you know seems to be the the best device that that uh you know best thing we can do right now okay thank you walter turning to a more traditional issue for the city of portland if we maintain our current government structure what city bureau would you want to oversee and why well, Nick Nick Fish's positions right now are the the um, are the uh, environmental services and the water bureau and the parks, and um, my my main focus is is really environmentalist. I've always been a, a, a staunch environmental supporter. I worked on the ban the Trojan, and I worked on on the uh, stopping Nestle's to um, to put bottling plants in 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 um, in uh, up in Bonneville, but um, the the uh, the main thing is is you know so I've always been an environmentalist and I think I think everybody who's running is is an environmentalist. Um, however, um, I would I think parks I think parks need a restructuring uh, of what they do. I'm a big believer in well lately have been you know it's very been been very disheartening the bee colonies across the the nation and globally have been decreasing incredibly and that's uh that's a big issue because without the bees we won't have basically any citrus products we'll all get scurvy um the whole agricultural system would 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 collapse without without the honey bees and so uh, parks is important because i think we need to cultivate uh, wildflowers and meadows and in support of bees. Um, the also uh, the environmental services is a good position um, for me because I advocate the use of stopping 5G. Uh, 5G microwaves are it's required that we they have microwave emitters on every 100, 100 meters uh, in the city 
and these microwaves are, are can interfere with the calcium balance of our our brains and our children's brains. So I'm adamantly opposed to uh, to uh, this type of technology being being used. There's just no way to protect ourselves from it. It'll plummet uh, it'll plummet our property values. No one will be able to live live in the where they live because of headaches and cancers and things like that. And it's uh, it it would really decimate our 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 lifestyle and our 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 beautiful town. So I'm I'm very much against that. And I think as environment and parks and water is another issue. Uh, water is another issue that I like to be in charge of. The Water Bureau for years has been telling people to uh, only have to have personal filters, point of use filtration. Um, uh, P-O-F, point of use, uh, P-O-U, excuse me, point of use filtration. Um, this is very important. The Water Bureau has requested that people do this, and I would, I would be there to tell people that they need to filter their water as it comes out of the tap water. Uh, there's, uh, you know, the, those are important points, and those are the three areas where I'd like to oversee as a as commission. Let's turn to another issue uh, the city commission addresses, which is the law enforcement. How would you address the local law enforcement issues of police, community relations, use of deadly force, and officer accountability? Well, it, it's, it's one I would team up with my other counselors and the mayor to, to find solutions for. Uh, it's really, really not my forte. I'm both on, you know, I'm on the side of, of the of the police officers. I'm also on the side of, 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 of the citizens who can be victimized by, by them. So I'm, I'm pretty much middle of the road where that goes and I would rely on, on some of my other uh, council members and mayor to, to help with policy on making things better for us in here in Portland. Last question. The city's hey. park system, but <laughs> the city's park right. system faces serious financial challenges even more so since the closures caused by the pandemic. What sure. ideas do you have for securing the financial stability of our park system? Well, they, they, I, think, I think the whole park system is, is kind of on the wrong foot. I think they use too many herbicides and they do too much weed control. I think, um, I think people need to think more of meadows than they need to think of lush green fields. Um, I think they need to make the parks and more more bee friendly, more wildflower more wildflower friendly, and um, you know when. So I like to think of myself as uh, two basically two revolutions that I want to see the parks undergo, and that is the mason bee revolution. People don't really understand mason bees, but they're solitary bees that live in small colonies and can be raised kind of like pets. They don't sting either, so that's a good thing. But um, the other thing is, um, is we need more wildflowers, especially native wildflowers, to be growing instead of monotone grass grass cultures. So I believe that that we can save a lot of money by stopping herbicides and creating more uh, bee habitat, which will also helps uh, also helps the country as well too. Because um, if we can if we can basically make our our city a bee sanctuary, we can help uh, the agriculture, which is in, in if they lose that primary pollinator, uh, they're, they're gonna need, they're gonna need us, you know, so we can, we can help agriculture, help our city and make our parks still nicer, even, even so, you know. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Walter, for sharing your views. Hey, this is, hey, thank this you. has been the, <laughs> sure, this has been the video voter's guide. Uh, the primary election is Tuesday, May 19th, so be sure to inform yourself about the candidates and our single ballot measure, the gas tax, and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for watching. Hey, thanks, Chris. Yeah.